muckraking is a term that is given to uh, investigative journalists by Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, and it's a disparaging term, even though Roosevelt is a progressive and he believes in sort of righteous indignation, which is a characteristic of progressive uh, reformers. Uh, he, he doesn't really like the style, the sort of un, unseemly style of, of investigative journalism. But muckraking becomes a key part of the progressive initiative to f investigate and then to expose social injustice. Ida Tarbell writes a book about Standard Oil. And she takes on John D. Rockefeller, one of the richest and most powerful men in America. And she details in great, great uh, uh, exacting detail exactly how Rockefeller operates, what he does, how he crushes his competition, how he uses the bigness of Standard Oil to get even bigger. The very same arguments that are made today about modern corporations, usually in the computer industry, that they, because they're big, they can get bigger because they have the power to destroy their competition. They have the power to bribe or influence politicians and so forth. Lincoln Steffens focuses on political corruption. And so he writes his book, Shame of the Cities, at the turn of the century, exposing the rampant political corruption, the fact that most American cities are in the clutches of political machines that are corrupt and wasteful and you know, preside over, among other things, huge vice districts where prostitution and gambling and drinking uh, go on, and that cities will never get any better until we get rid of this hopelessly corrupt system. And uh, Upton Sinclair is another muckraker um, who writes a fictionalized account, but based on his own research about the meatpacking industry in Chicago. And that's one, probably the most famous muckraking book of all, because it, it gets people, a lot of people don't really necessarily care that much about their kerosene, which they're getting from Standard Oil. Uh, and a lot of people don't live in cities, so they're not that concerned about corruption of political machines, but they are concerned about the food they eat. The Upton Sinclair writes this incredible expose of the horrid practices, both in the, in the meatpacking industry, the kind of food that they're actually producing, dreadfully unhealthy, and selling to the American public, and the way in which they horribly abuse their workers. So muckraking is a, is a major development in the late 19th century, early 20th century, for sort of exposing the things that then progressive politicians and leaders are going to pass laws to solve.